all right guys so this video initially was supposed to be a wig review but it ended up being more work and take had taken me more time than I had anticipated and I had totally up the wig the first time and the second time this is what it came out to be so if you guys do not know wig what wig that I am talking about it is the lace front deep invisible part pre-cut wig and it's the Melanie wig I got it from ebonyline.com as usual because they just have fast shipping but this is the original wig um, I'll make sure I put all of the information in the description box the color um, the link where I got it from and everything and uh, just so you guys also know to get it to this to have the fullness because originally it didn't have a lot of fullness in it I used the premium doobie color number four and I put most of it in the back but instead of this video ended up being a review it is now a restyle video just to take you through the process of how I messed it up the first time in my opinion and then how I got it to this so stay tuned all right so this is how the wig looked before I started playing around and cutting with it and you can see the back was very sparse in here so I decided I was going to go ahead and add some tracks to this unit and as I mentioned earlier I used the um, premium doobie hair in the color 4 and I believe I added about 6 to 7 tracks um, focusing most of them in the back. So once I got all of the tracks in, you could see how it looks and it was actually cute at this point. But I wanted to go ahead and kind of cut it and this is what happened. I cut it extremely too short. I cut everything on the mannequin head. Um, it was fairly easy, but once I put it on my head, I just did not like how it looked. I didn't mind how it framed my face, but the back was just way too short and I just did not like it. So here at my second attempt, I removed the last tracks, added a new set of six to seven tracks, and this is what it came out to look like after I flat ironed the uh, doobie hair out a little bit more. So I just decided I was just going to cut it again on the mannequin head, but I was just going to make sure I didn't cut more than I needed to. So after shaping the ends, I decided to go ahead and use a razor comb to give this a razor cut for uh, a slight bob. So um, I kind of pulled the hair uh, towards me and went down in a motion just to create some layers into this uh, wig. And then here you see me going back into the wig again using my shears to kind of uh, clean up those um, ends a little bit more, clean up the layers and make sure they're evened out. Guys, this took me uh, a long time, more than I expected. Then I went back in with the razor comb and just kind of combed it down so that I could blend the layers a little bit more and I kept it focused towards the back. Here I decided to kind of pull my hairline over a little bit more towards the left and I used my flat irons to kind of flatten that down and I really love how this 
um, invisible part looks. It looks really natural. And here you can see what it looks like on my head and I'm a little bit happy I just got to cut the lower end and I used my trimmers to do that. Again, I went back in with the razor comb so that I can kind of blend in the lower half, which I was unable to do on the mannequin head. Here is very simple, same technique, just framing my face a little bit more. Now I went on ahead and curled it and as you know the doobie hair is easier to curl because it's 100% human hair but the rest of the wig um, is not human hair, it's synthetic hair so it um, actually allowed me to put heat to it. I could curl it but I couldn't go over 400 degrees and um, I curled it while it was at 350 just to be on the safe side and this is what it came out to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Trust me, this took me longer than I really wanted it to be, but I'm pretty much satisfied with the results so far. That's it guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out my previous videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.